Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tiny Adventures in Hero Forge, where I'm going to be building some miniatures uh, based on fantasy characters. And if there's anybody in the chat, I will be taking requests for their characters. Otherwise, I'm going to start with something um, that I'm going to come up with on my own. Uh, sorry for being a little bit late, but uh, had some issues with that uh, uh, Streamlabs update. Not Twitch update, but Streamlabs. But it got it going and everything seems to be working now. I've got my microphone, everything's up. Uh, so without any further delay, let's get into the miniature build. Alright, so here we are in Hero Forge. What are we going to make today? I think I'm just going to take a look at some of the um, some of the species stuff and then just make a decision. See what we got here. Maybe just like an elf. We started off with uh, a dragonborn or a half dragon. Uh, maybe just an orc, half orc. So we did a prospector, which was kind of like a paladin slash fighter. We did a monk. And so far a tiefling warlock or a uh, half demon. Like the forest guard. Loxodon is pretty cool. One of these days I'm going to have to start doing some of my old favorite characters. I'll start with a goblin. Uh, oh, hey there, give me that Quan. How's it going? I'm trying to find a fun species to do for today's uh, today's creation. Make a ninja turtle. You know what? Maybe I will do a turtle person. Turtle. There we go. And then I think the first thing we're going to do here is set some sizes. So I'm going to measurements and I'm gonna make this the tiniest and then give him a pretty big head <laughs> now his shell's too small I wonder if I can switch that out oh no eh? Mm. all right well, let's go back to body measurements and see what we can do Is not going to help. Upper scale. Maybe. I just need to make them a little bit bigger. But it's still pretty short. So that works for me. different heads. No, I think that one is still the best. And I mean might be a little bit of a shorter episode because we're not gonna have to do any hair or ears. Uh, 
teeth might be weird or horns all that stuff I'm not gonna need on this guy maybe a helmet though or a headband if we are gonna do the ninja turtle but uh, I'm not so sure if that's the way I want to go But I'm gonna check out some poses, some advanced poses with the uh, face, I mean. Snarl. alright but now the question is what are we doing for a class I feel like less is more here Man, this might be a really short episode. <laughs> if I don't add anything to this guy, I need to add something. Getting too close to the Ninja Turtles vibe with a ninja ninja samurai turtle. So I don't know what his shell is gonna do on his back here. What else can I do with a turtle? Wizard. I mean, I could just do one of the Ninja Turtles, but uh, soldier druid total druid
Yeah, I think some kind of tortle druid would be fun. need to rethink that uh, sizing. Nah. Not sure about that headdress. like weird hair though. getting that on his shoulder there or is that just part of the shirt maybe probably change the leggings as well. I'm not a big fan of how this sort of fans outward. Though I guess maybe that could get fixed in the pose. So what are we going to have our druid doing? Check if there's any kind of cool sea themed pets or anything. Maybe get their gear, hands. Uh, misc? Maybe misc? Oh, do, do. oh, the anchor would be good. That might be fun. see if there's anything other than the anchor that is nautical themed. Amulets. They have some pets, some animals. Fish. 
I feel like that anchor might be the best. Alright, so let's go for a basic pose and then start messing with it. I feel like this pose, maybe holding the anchor over his shoulder, but I want to switch the arms. So I'm going to make, I'm going to do this, but with the different arms, but maybe I want his legs a little bit closer together. Like that. I guess I was just scrolled down. But birds and rats don't really make sense for this guy. I think it's gonna still be the anchor. But I'm gonna try something here. So if I go back to body, I go to tail, I give him a really basic tail. Just wait for it. And then I go to gear, and I go to tail. Uh, what does, let me pick the familiar with the tail. But if it lets me pick the anchor, and then we go to pose. Advanced and tail. So this is going to take some time, but I'm going to try to actually. Oh, that's okay. This might not take as much time as I thought because that's already close to what I was looking for. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to hide that tail completely inside the body. I should be able to hide that. idea here is that I can then have the anchor posed so that it is touching the ground. Hey Prip, how's it going? I'm making some kind of weird sea druid turtle, turtle man. I'm trying some weird stuff out with Posing the tail, I've given him a long tail and given him the anchor in the tail. So that I can pose this. And 
and then have him not holding the anchor but sort of leaning on it. Now I need to get it back over on the other side. Maybe I gotta switch that up from the beginning. Oh. Oh. twist but not not the where you're holding it going to take a lot of finagling around, but could look pretty cool. Hmm. I still have this weird tail here, so I might just have to cover that up with some gear on the side. See if that works. Like this rope. Roll the side. Or whip. And there's a rope as well.
for a spell book. It's pretty big. Rope kind of makes sense. He's got an anchor. Probably wants to uh, tie it up with something. Oh wow, it doesn't go back very far, does it? So right. Hey there, Thu. Thu, the W-T-D-O. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Thanks, man. I'm glad you like it. I'm working on some kind of tortle sea druid. Yeah, so I've used a tail to get that anchor in place, so he's just kind of got it resting there, and he's holding on to it. I think in his other hand I'm going to give him some kind of a harpoon or trident. I'm just going to go and finish up the base for a second. Add some sand. Here's the rounded edge. And put some more stuff on there after. And there is something else we can do with additional arms. I don't know how well that's going to work. I'm gonna save him here for a second. Some turtle druid. Sea druid. Save. Go back to body. And arms. Oh no, here we go. So you can add extra arms. And they so kind of get hidden. So if I do something there, I'm going to pose. Advanced. Again, what I'm trying to do here is hide the arm inside his body.
can put extra stuff. Hey, for the love of the game, how's it going? All right, so I got that arm stuck in there, and now if I go to gear, I should be able, yeah, to put something in that hand, and I'll go to familiar, and I'm gonna pick that. So I can actually get that star, C star, or <laughs> a little turtle. I like it. I like the little turtle. All right, so I'm gonna go back to pose. Now I can go back and try to get that pose a little bit better. You can still see his fingers a little bit, which I'm probably gonna have to live with, but. I get it hidden. I like how that turtle kind of looks angry or mean. coming out of his arm, but I think if I um, split the difference between stuck in the arm and stuck in the anchor, it'll look okay. The other idea is that I could put it, try to get it up on his shoulder. I might try that with the other arm. So weird right now. You're looking for artists for a non commercial fan made Lord of the Rings related game. Not quite sure what you're looking for. star stuck to something. Yeah. All right, so back to pose. I'm doing all right for the love. How are you doing? Had a pretty busy day. Still got some stuff I gotta get done. It being Easter weekend coming up. Don't know what that means for my clients and whether or not they're gonna be uh, taking Good Friday or Easter Monday off. Don't know. But anyways, I have work to get done, so trying to do a little bit extra work this week.
There's the hand coming out of his chest with a starfish on it. I gotta say, this is one of the hardest poses I've tried to do. I've seen these like extra arms be used in, to such good effect. I really want to see if I can do something with it. Might just be, be a matter of hiding the stuff better. It's getting close. Maybe it just pokes out of the bottom there. No, this is not a commission piece, this is me messing around, doing some uh, building in Hero Forge. You know what, that's going to get totally messed up when I change this arm pose anyways. Looks like that has an impact on the actual other arm. Alright, let's see if we can find that pole arm for him. Pretty sure there's a trident. I could use a spear. No, there's a trident. Uh, oops. <laughs> That's not the end we want to put that in. Although, that would be neat too to do something along those lines. Have it resting on his arm or on his back and his arm just sort of draped over it. But I want to keep that as the star and then go to the sky and back to form and back to trident. And back to advanced pose.
All right. Let's see if we can give him any kind of necklace or something. I still have this neck category, but everything's been moved over here. Just a diamond. That actually looks all right. That looks good. I'll take another look at the headdresses. closest. Where's that seaweed again? Maybe take a look at that. Give it another chance. I missed it, didn't I? search terms yeah they're gonna pass I think I'm just gonna leave them like that oh I should maybe fix this up so I'll go to pose advanced did do hair, hear me out, and we did use those sort of ten, ten, tentacle type things. Where are they? Long tentacles? Oh, that looks weird. Short? Hmm. I gotta say, I kinda like it. Sure, why not? All right. And then for gear, do we give them an eye patch? star on his face but I really don't think that that's gonna work that uh, starfish I think that looks good and then just need to decide if I want to put anything on this side here and maybe some back items Do uh, 
can't do the familiars as a side item. That's too bad. But I can try to advance pose this cupcake. worked out. Sort of mimics the shell design. All right, go back to gear. And then let's see if we're going to do anything on his back. Unavailable. All right, so that's because he's got, oh, back items. Can't do cloaks when you've got a shell. Actually gonna put it on his back or if I'm gonna put anything there let's just see what it looks like you can't put them behind the shell and I doubt that you have advanced pose options to do that either let's take a look though uh, there he is yeah you can just twist it I don't think I'm too plussed with his back items. I think actually that's very close to being done. We can just do a couple of things on the base. See what other kind of sea critters we have here. Maybe a treasure chest. Oyster with pearl is a good idea. Starfish or a treasure chest. The oyster is pretty big. I did that there, and then went with either starfish. <laughs> Tentacles. aren't bad I can reposition those and have them coming around the anchor maybe or around his legs kind of like how we did the smoke just twist it Let's take a look at these pose options. Hey Killstreak, how's it going? Where are they? There they are. And which one 
move this, twist it. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. Push that back. Sideways a bit. Pretty good too. Sideways on this guy. Where can that go? Around his legs. around that form or the trident just keep it there but then move this other one Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Give it another save. And there we have our Tortle Sea Druid. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. Uh, thanks everyone for joining and watching. Um, I had a lot of fun making this guy, just random. Hadn't decided what I was gonna do going into this episode, but, uh, but I think he came out all right. Looks pretty cool. Got lots of stuff on him. But yeah, I'll be back on Wednesday in another episode of Hero Forge, uh, and, uh, and I'll figure out something to create then uh if you guys have any ideas uh please follow me on uh twitter where you'll find me as gentleman i think gentleman underscore rhino or just look for gentleman rhino on uh, on twitter i'm there somewhere with my usual um icon uh, but yeah and if you've got any ideas for a hero forge uh character you'd like me to create let me know uh, and uh, i can do that uh, otherwise i hope you guys all have a great evening and i will see you again on wednesday that's right i think